perimeters. The children at Eva's school are going to start a garden where the students and teachers can grow plants. They're going to put it in a part of the playground that's covered in tiles. They've marked the zone where they're going to put the garden with a wooden fence. Later, they filled it with soil. Eva wants to plant pumpkins, lettuce, and cauliflower. To keep the different plants separated, they're going to use sticks to mark the corners of the different zones and rope to make the borders. Eva wants to work out how much rope she needs to mark each zone. Let's help her. For the pumpkins, they're going to put sticks here, 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 and here. And then they're going to connect them with rope. Each tile measures one foot on each side. Do you know how much rope they will need? Let's count it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So they'll need twenty-four feet of rope. Very good. To mark the zone for the pumpkins, they will need twenty-four feet of rope. Look at the zone for the pumpkins from above. It's in the form of a polygon, and the rope draws its outline. So what we've just calculated is the length of this outline. We call the length of a figure's outline the perimeter. How can we calculate the perimeter of a polygon? Well, we've just added all of the sides, so I would say it's adding the measurements of its sides. Let's see. Of course, to calculate the perimeter of a polygon, all you have to do is add the measurements of its sides. Notice that since they are measurements of length, the perimeter is also a measurement of length. Let's help them mark the zones of the other plants they want to grow. For the cauliflower, they're going to put sticks here, here. Here and here, and just like before, they're going to connect them with rope. Remember that each tile has sides of one foot. Can you work out how much rope they will need? Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They'll need twelve feet of rope for a cauliflower. Excellent. They will need twelve feet of rope to mark the zone for the cauliflower. Notice that to calculate the perimeter of the zone for the cauliflower, we add the lengths of the four sides, which are all equal. As you can see, it's very easy to calculate the perimeter of some polygons. For example, to calculate the perimeter of a square, all we need to do is multiply the length of one side by four, which is the same as adding it four times. So, to calculate the perimeter of a square with a side of six, we multiply six by four, and we get twenty-four. Now, see if you can calculate the perimeter of this square with sides of five. So, this square has four sides of five. So that would be. Five plus five plus five plus five, and that would be twenty. That's it. The perimeter of this square is four multiplied by five, which equals twenty. Finally, to mark the zone for the lettuce, they are going to put sticks here, 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 and here, and once again, they're going to connect them with rope. Remember that each tile has sides of one foot. Do you know how much rope they will need? So there are two sides that equal four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's eight. And vertical. Let's see how long each side is vertically. One, two, three, four, five. There are two sides. One, two. Four, five. So let's see. 
4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5, and that equals 18. Great! To mark the zone for the lettuce, they will need 18 feet of rope. To calculate the perimeter of the zone for the lettuce, we've added the lengths of its four sides, which are in equal pairs. So, to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, all we have to do is multiply the measurements of its base and height by 2. For example, to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle with a base of 8 and height of 6, we multiply 8 plus 6 by 2, and we get 28. Now calculate the perimeter of this rectangle with a base of 7 and height of 5. So we have a base of 7 and a height of 5, so we have to add 7 plus 5, and that gives us 12 times 2, so 12 times 2 equals 24. That's it! The perimeter of this rectangle is 7 plus 5 multiplied by 2, which equals 24. Let's practice with another polygon. What is the perimeter of this triangle with sides of 5, 7, and 8? So we have to all add all three sides. So 8 plus 7 equals 15. And add plus 5, that gives us 20. That's it! The perimeter of this triangle is 5 plus 7 plus 8, which equals 20. Remember that to calculate the perimeter of any polygon, we always add the lengths of all its sides. Now that they know how much rope they need, they mark the zones and plant the cauliflower, the lettuce, and the pumpkins. Doesn't it look great? And you've learned how to calculate the perimeter of a polygon. Now keep practicing.